Hello and welcome to the sixth video series of Terraform. So in today's session, I will be demonstrating about data sources in Terraform. So why we use data source? So it basically allows you to use any existing resource which you have deployed in your uh, any cloud provider portal. Like in this lab, we are going for AWS. So like suppose you are going to create one EC2 instance like your and but the scenario is here like your subnet which you are going to uh, assign to the uh, nick of your ec2 instance in the last session we have seen right we have attached one one ip of the subnet from uh, to the ec2 instance which we have created but in this session the scenario is different now your subnet will be already existing okay from the existing subnet you will take one ip to the NIC interface you will provide that and the NIC interface you will attach to the VM so basically in the same manner we will use data source so data source will help us to get us the previous existing subnet so let's see how we can make use of this data source so let me go ahead and let me create this VPC along with this subnet and this subnet we will use to deploy our EC2 instance okay so let me go ahead and let me create this subnet the subnet name is demo subnet so right now if i will go to the portal is it instance subnet so you can see I, right now i don't have any subnet here so we are creating the same subnet name like demo subnet so let me go ahead and let me create this so now our subnet has been deployed along with a vpc let's go here and let's refresh this so we, we have got this demo subnet so now our task is to uh, deploy a ec2 instance to this subnet means one of the ip i will take from the cidr range which is this 172.16.10.0 i will take one ip and i will give it to a nic interface and that that nic interface i will attach to a vm so let's go ahead and let's do that so this is the same code which we have used in our last template right so let's go ahead and let's provide the value so here it is asking you the subnet id and you have to provide this private ip correct so what i'm going to do here let's use data block data along with the which resource do you want to use aws subnet right let's see if we have okay so this is the subnet and here you have to provide any name so let me go ahead and like let's i'm using this subnet you can type any name right this is not this is just a logical name don't think like i am giving this due to my in my first i have given the demo subnet so this is same no you can provide anything like let me give it a subnet itself right and here you have to provide the id of the subnet so he okay and here i have to provide the id of the subnet so how i will get this id so just go to the your aws portal you have selected this okay scroll up and here you can see this is the subnet id okay we can take it so just copy this and go to the portal and just paste this so this is the subnet id we want to use so here you have to pass the subnet id so how, how i will pass now should i start from aws subnet dot subnet and then dot id no this time you are using data source so make sure you are starting this using data so how i will write data then aws so you can see here it is giving me auto suggestion subnet and then then in the last we have to provide id because it is asking for subnet id right along with that you have to provide one of the ip from your subnet so this is the range of your cidr range so let's go back to the code and what is the type this is the type this is a list type here just provide the ip and here just write something like this okay so here so this is the scenario in earlier video you have if you have don't watch please watch what we did we have just created our vnet our subnet then we have uh, 
attach this NIC interface to the subnet, one of the IP of the subnet, and then NIC interface we have attached to the AWS instance. Now, in this case, what we are doing, we are just using one of the previous existing subnet and we are calling the subnet using data tag and here we are providing the id of the subnet how we will get the id of the subnet go to the subnet name and you will see here the subnet id just copy paste here and here you can see i have passed this and this wherever you are calling now it should be started from this dot data dot right so i have given here data dot then i have given the real name and the logical name and the id fine and here you have to provide the ip and the nick interface here make sure that is correct so here i'm not using data tag right for resource for resource block because see here we are creating a resource uh, here data one of the video i have already told you so this one we are using aws network interface dot test dot id so let's go ahead and let's first validate our code let's apply so you can see it is refreshing the state right because we have the tf state file it is checking the actual state and what is the current st desired state what we are trying to achieve now so you can see it is asking to to destroy i um, giving here yes so our network interface started creating now it is creating our instance okay let's wait for a moment so did you notice something like it is destroying our subnet right so why it is destroying i will tell you one more scenario like see in the same code when you will write uh, some uh, if you will create some resources right and you will create those all resources then all the resources whatever you have created that all has been got saved to this tf state file right and again you will do what in the same code only you will write these all like aws instance creation and all then next time the tf state file will look for the uh, your subnet where is your subnet you are creating last time resource block correct so this time it will see okay that is not there means and now what we now it is thinking what we want it, the subnet to de uh, destroy then we want these all resource to be created so that's why it is happening here so so what we have to do we have to create one subnet either you can write in separate file and create the subnet you can separate the code of the subnet creation and this ec2 instance creation otherwise if you have one subnet already manual created and that is already existing so let's go ahead and let's create one more subnet here let's create a subnet which will be attached to our this vpc which we have created okay this is the ipc idea subnet one is 16 okay and here i'm providing two if this is done just go ahead and click on this creating subnet and this time the the manual thing whatever you are creating here that are not getting stored in your tf state file right okay so now you can use this subnet this is what we have created now let's go ahead and take this id subnet id let's go to the code okay let me come out of this control c and here i'm going to provide this id okay this is the sub new subnet id what i can do i can just uh, delete these all files earlier tf state files so that it will not make us any trouble okay 
this also now it is full clear it doesn't have any tf state file correct now let's do a plan first now no data for uh, now no data is stored right so it is saying me to install terraform first okay let's wait for a moment until this is done so once this is done let's do terraform plan to validate okay so here these are the all things which we have asked for this is the instance this is the nick we are going to create this is the ip of the nick and here attachment id and all it will be known after once we apply so we have wrote the code now terraform auto approve Let's hit enter so now you can see it started creating correct it has started with the network interface because it got one of the ip from the subnet using data tag and now it started creating our ec2 instance and this mic card will be attached to the ec2 instance so that the ec2 instance will get one private ip okay so let me pause this video until this done so now you can see the resource has been added one nick along with one ec2 instance let's go back to our this let's search for ec2 this is the one which we are looking for just click on that so this is the one which we have created but the problem is here like in which because i haven't given any name so you can see this is the one which is getting initialized this is the our one but see if you if you want to provide any name here you can directly provide like adding any tags so this is confusing right which is our instance which we have created so you can simply write here tags And here you will provide something like this name equals to ec2 okay once the system just re apply this so that see we have done one minimal change it will it will see the it the tf state have uh, actual state and this is the desired state means one change it should have to be done it has to attach a tag to the vms so let's wait this tag should be apply so you can see here it has started refreshing the state and this name should be applied to the vm so in azure it is easy you can directly provide name but in this okay so one to change right this is the state this is the desired state it compared with the tf state and it is it has started modifying so it started modifying so right now we don't have any name once i have refreshed you can see this is the vm which we have created okay that is fine so let's see now in which subnet it is existing let's go to the networking section okay this is the subnet id you can see the name along with the name demo subnet name which we have used in the data tag just click on that this is the same subnet name so okay so that is for today so like this we can use data tag to make use of existing resources and deploy our resources into that so okay thanks for watching if you